Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about LocaChange, a software that allows you to spoof your location or fake your location on your phone, which you might want to do if you want to access geo-restricted content, if you're on any of the dating apps or social apps, or if you're playing games like Monster Hunt Now and Pokemon Go, it's going to let you fake your location. Make sure though that for whatever application or game that you're spoofing your location for, you do read the terms and conditions to make sure you're not violating them. Now, one of the key features of LocaChange is that it offers multi-platform support. So with one subscription, you can access it on both PC and Mac, but also iOS and Android. If you decide to use it on your computer, the first connection has to be via USB cable, but then subsequent connections can be wireless via Wi-Fi. But the other nice thing is if you don't want to use your computer, you don't want to install that software, you can actually use it on your phone without the need to install any software on your computer, be it on iOS or Android. And on iOS, it's also compatible with iOS 18, which is the latest and current version of iOS. Now, Loki Change is a paid service. It is a paid subscription. However, if you are interested, they do offer a free trial so that you can check it out and see if it works for your use cases without having to subscribe first. I will put links in the description for you to activate that trial and check it out for yourself. So let me show you how the software works on your computer. The first time you launch the software, you have to plug in your phone, but all subsequent times you can connect via Wi-Fi, as you can see, without the need to plug in your phone via cable. So once you select your phone, you have two specific modes. There is the universal mode, which is going to work for most location-based apps. But LocaChange also has a game-specific mode, which is tweaked to work better with games like Pokemon Go or Monster Hunt Now. Let me start by showing you the universal mode. So once you select that, it's going to connect to your phone and it's going to show you where you are on a map. And here what you can do if you want to jump to a different location, either find it on a map and click on it, or you can type an address or coordinates or even the name of whatever location. So for example, if you want to go to Hyde Park in London, we can do that and look what happens as soon as I hit move. And if I check my current location, you're going to see we are in Hyde Park in London. Now, LocaChange not only lets you move to a different location, but you can actually plan a route. So uh, if we zoom in over here and select this, which is two spot mode, we can click anywhere on the map and click on move and it's going to plan the route and it's going to drive along that route. Now you can change the speed from walking to riding a bike, motorcycle, up to riding a car and you can see over here the speed we're at 75 miles per hour at this point and you can toggle realistic mode on and off which is going to slightly vary your speed to make it more realistic and if i go back to my phone to show you you can actually see the dot moving along that route towards the destination you can also plan a multi-spot route so this lets you click anywhere on the map and it's going to create an itinerary with more than one stop. Uh, so again, if we do move, it's going to go from point A to point B to point C along the route that you just selected. And there's also a joystick mode over here, which lets you move along the map using a joystick. So you see the joystick on the bottom left side of the screen and you can start moving along the map by using that joystick. And over here, you can see a history of all the routes that you took. And if you wanna repeat any of the particular routes, you simply click on that and it's gonna repeat that route. And once you're done, you can click on this button over here to reset your location. And this is gonna reset your phone to the actual location of your device. Now, if you want to use LocaChange for games like Monster Hunt Now or Pokemon Go, you're better off using the specific game mode. For that to work, you need to connect either via Bluetooth or USB or, or Wi-Fi. Connecting via Bluetooth supports more games. And the reason they require that is because that Bluetooth connection is going to establish a secure connection with the servers and help you get a better stable connection and avoid error codes or bans and whatnot. Now, there's a bunch of steps you need to follow the first time around when you are or connecting via Bluetooth, but these are very well explained with screenshots on the app itself. Once you do that, you're gonna get a Bluetooth connection request. It's also gonna ask you to install a new app, which is called iGo Hotspot. So yes, it is a few 
hoops that you need to run through, but this is needed to establish that secure connection for the game specific mode. Once you download the app and follow the instructions, it's gonna let you create a VPN connection. And then once you've completed those steps, you just click on complete. And if you get an error, go back to your phone into Bluetooth and make sure you're on that screen and accept the Bluetooth connection request. So if you do all the steps correctly, you should see yourself on the map again. And this looks very similar to the uh, universal mode. So if you want to go somewhere, you can simply again type the uh, address or the location and just teleport there and it's going to move you over there. But what is different in the game specific mode is you see here on the right hand side of the screen, you got this Pokemon icon and this gives you a few functions in Pokemon Go. Now I'm, I'm not a Pokemon Go player, so I can't sit here and tell you much about this. Uh, but this one, for example, is Live Atlas. So it refreshes the map with Pokestop and Gym within a two kilometer radius. Uh, so I'm going to click that to show you what it looks like. And uh, it appears you can see around the map um, locations of potential Pokemons you can maybe capture. I, I really don't know. Uh, but then if you click on the Pokego or Pogo search, uh, this is a real-time search for information on Pokemon's raids and battles. And here uh, you can see the different raids, let's say, uh, or Pokemon's or the quests. And if you select a certain Pokemon, so Squirtle, for example, you can click on go and it's going to take you over there you can click on move. And there you go. There's also a cooldown timer over here, which I understand is needed to avoid being banned in the game. Uh, so when you activate that, it does not let you perform new actions until the countdown timer runs out. As I said earlier in my review, if you don't want to install software on your computer, you can download an iOS or an Android app on your phone and spoof your location without the need to install software on your computer or without the need to have a computer even. If you want to do that, there's detailed step-by-step -step instructions on the Loki Change website, which you can follow. That's it for me. Again, if you're looking to spoof your location, whether for it's Pokemon Go and other games, dating apps, or even to surprise that friend or family member who can see you on Find My, then Loki Change might be a solution for you. Links to the product page will be in the description. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.